Some gadgets what are essential. Living in a home, park home, anything, some gadgets are very, very essential. So what I'm gonna show you in this video is basically some of the gadgets what I like, just as a gimmick, and some gadgets which basically can prove very, very and, uh, and uh, now what we're going to do is get our so bikes are packed up, the car polishing stuff's packed up, and uh, some stuff to clean the uh, decking again. So come with us and let's see how we get along and tell me what gadgets you like, what I've got, and what you think about the essential ones. See you in a minute. If you like the beginning of that video, it just goes to show how much things have changed from caravans when they was first starting off. I mean, 1930s it says on there, and then obviously I remember the 1970s, 80s when we used to have a we used to have two. My mum used to have two caravans in uh, Rill. Um, one was called Marine Park. Uh, but the, the both caravans was on Marine Park, and were the if anybody's from Wales, Rill. Um, were the blue bridges and it used to, it's called the marquee now or something like that. we have got a previous videos on that where we went to uh, Wales for a trip out but uh, that used to be called the ferry inn and at the back of the ferry inn there used to be chalets there so a lot of things have changed and the BS standards have changed so basically so if it's not to the BS standard 
regulations some of them cannot be lived in and obviously for 12 months of the year this one can bs3632 right i'm going to show you one of the most essential things if you've got a home or a park home or a caravan whatever you've got is this now that is a smoke alarm and a carbon monoxide warning so we've got one in here and we've got one in the bedroom now believe it or not that runs off wi-fi as well so basically if the if when we're not here and the alert smoke it detects smoke it will tell us via the phone it'll send me an email and also it will sound as well so the sound off it is quite loud so i'm just going to put it on for a quick test let's put it on there So it's been tested and that's what it does so you can see it lights up and it's just resetting again to let you know it's all back to normal so the link for that i'm going to show you how it works now I'm just going to put it on the side of me here and you can see it give us an email It'll give us that sound if we are here. It'll also send it straight to the phone and let us know that uh, there's some smoke detected. Fingers crossed, it's never a fire. One of the other gadgets we've got is um, basically the air conditioning unit. Because in summertime, it can get very, very hot in here. Very hot. So we've had the Mitsubishi Heavy Industries uh, air conditioning fitted so when we are on our way home or we can make sure that's been turned off or if it's on our way in it's too hot we can turn it on before we get here so that's another great thing and it also works off uh, sensible now sensible is an app which basically you can set it up on your phone and you can turn the air conditioning on on your way here so you, or you can, while you are here, you can say, Alexa, living room aircon on. Okay. Alexa, living room aircon off. Okay. So I've set it up like that. So that's another. Now I think that is an essential, especially with the heat, what you're getting here. Now this, basically is a heater an air conditioning unit and a humidifier as well so it does all three now the other thing about it is with having the sensible which is a little device which connects to the air conditioning unit which is separate so that sensible air conditioning unit sensor will turn that on and it connects to alexa now that is an essential the most essential i would honestly say is the smoke alarm smoke alarm and the uh co2 monitor that is the best thing i'd say is an essential now for the gadgets the gadgets is basically um the alarm system now we've got ring contact sensors on the doors and on the windows and uh We've got motion sensors. Now the motion sensors are set up in all different areas around the van and even on the shed. So we are covered on everything. We can even press the uh, remote control on the uh, Alexa show shed camera.
Now the thing is, I've set that one, so if there's any motion goes anywhere near the shed, we're warned either through the phone, and we can speak two ways towards it, or it will notify us via email, and we'll know exactly what's knocking about, who's knocking about, if anybody goes near the shed, why would I wear? Show front decking camera. Okay. Now, that's just gadgets, which is what I like. It's not essential to have, have that. And the other thing I do as well is basically, when you, how many times have you gone out and you've thought, oh, I've left the door open. You can check on your phone that the doors are all shut, the windows are all shut. So this is what will happen when the door is open. Patio doors open. Now that is attached to every single window and the doors. Front door is open. So everything is open will set Alexa off to tell us and it'll also notify us via the phone. Kitchen window one open. So that's another, that's a gadget, that's my gadget. And then obviously we have everything run by Alexa. Um, she's probably listened to me. Okay, here's pink noise by sleep jar. Sorry, Alexa. I not understand. Stop. Alexa, living room lights on. Okay. Alexa, living room lights off. Okay. So it's just little bits of gadgets what we've had put in, what I've had put in, what I think is essential. And the other thing is what we've had done is the door lock. Now the door lock basically is either thumbprint either remote control or a swab and the other one is fingerprints as well which I'm not going to show you the number because then you know what the number is so it's either that as well and obviously if none of that works you can use a key now the thing is the key is uh, a specially cut key for that lock it's not hard to install you've just got to take a little bit of time when you're fitting it right now it's next to uh next thing is the cameras outside i'm just going to show you the outside. i know you've seen them on the inside with the alexa but i'm going to show you on the outside we've got a camera there which you can see it's lit up blue because it's picked me up and obviously there's one round the corner and we've got solar power panels to keep them charged we've also got the ring alarm box with another solar panel keeping that charged as well and the other great gadget i got was basically off the amazon prime deal which was a bargain at the time was the uh, outdoor security light so obviously there used to be a light here if you check my previous videos you'll see there used to be a light here just take a bit of dirt off so basically that lights up everything at night also gives us motion warning and it will talk back to people and let them know that uh, you were being uh, videoed and then another camera here with another solar panel and a blue light's just come on and then we've got one over the uh, other side here and that one is motorised so basically that will turn tilt and we can adjust it and have a look what's around obviously now you can see the tinted windows as well so tinted windows is an essential and the reason why i say it's an essential because in summertime it keeps the heat out and in winter it keeps the heat in believe it or not we run all the lights on at night time so they come on automatically so these uh, lights here a few cobwebs around at the minute so the all the lights on the corners come on a specific time and we can also turn them on with Alexa again. Now on in the shed, we've also got a motion sensor in the shed and a contact sensor. So basically if anybody goes anywhere near the shed, you'll hear exactly what it is. 
Now when I go near the shed, my phone will notify me if somebody goes anywhere near it. So, let's have a listen. You can see on there, shed outside disconnect, detected motion. So that's because we've got a sensor in the shed as well. And uh, that's, I think, is absolutely brilliant and an essential thing to have. So the only hardest thing we've ever had is getting the bikes down here because the bikes are quite heavy and we have to come in, we have to put one in each car because they're that heavy. So we are looking at some sort of bike rack just so we just need one car. The other essential things I'd say we need, or what, what I think is an essential, people might say it's just a gadget, is these blinds. That just gives you a bit of privacy in the summertime. So another essential, in my eyes, while we're outside, I'm going to show you something else, which I think, in my eyes, again, is essential, is electric power point for outside. So when you're doing your decking, or you're cleaning your car, or you're washing down, you've got a power point. So that's my third essential one. I think, or is it fifth, sixth, I don't know. And then obviously these little lights for the outside which come on, which somebody's asked me about these when they do come on at night time. And I'll put a link in the description below where we got them from. It's only from Amazon, but you've got to get the right ones. The ones on the shed are a little bit different. They just come on when somebody goes near it. And we've got them all the way along and if you watch my previous videos you see them on at night time another bit of thing essential i keep saying essential it's supposed to be gadgets isn't it but outdoor storage as well as your shed and some ladders and the other one is an outside tap did you hear that noise that's to tell me that someday is near my shed. The good thing is, it's only me that's at the shed. These are essential. <laughs> uh, table outside. Um, so basically, I've just give you a look around some of the things. Now let me show you um, the internet, what we have as well. Now that is essential. It also works with the ring. This is our internet. It's 5G internet um, box. And we've also got Hive as well. And then we've got the Nova Mesh system and the Echo 10 Show. So if anybody goes anywhere near the shed, it comes up directly on that, which is just come up with a decking. The ring alarm box, the siren, and the Echo Show showing all the cameras. So if anything goes off, and the alarms, the alarms will sound inside and outside as well. And that's the Echo Show showing all the uh, cameras. Obviously you just got to swipe to the left and then I get the rest of the cameras on as well. The other thing we've got is obviously the hive for the heating. Because when you get one of these vans, it doesn't come with the hive heating. So we've had that put in as well. So then we can control that while we're out so we can put the heating on while we're out when we're on our way here we can make sure that the temperature is nice and warm for us for when we get here in the winter time and below it is the ring alarm system which basically can also detach from the wall but to get it back on it's a different matter so that's the ring alarm system so there's quite a few things what we've had put in here and my favorite one it's basically my cameras and my door lock. Like I say, you're sitting outside and the windows are tinted, but you can still see outside, but you can't see in. One thing what we did have when we was it when we first brought the van was basically a table in the middle here. So that's been took out and we've had a an island put in. Now but the reason why we've had that is because when we are here, I've got all my storage for my gadgets. Don't want to show you what's inside 
because it's a bit of a mess at the minute. Another gadget I've got, which basically is for me, the keyboard. So basically, I can, uh, I don't use it that much. I can control the telly with this keyboard. So that's just some of our gadgets, what we've had installed, what we've done ourselves. Not essential, but I'd say the main thing is essential is the uh, smoke alarm. And like I say, that, I'll just like I say, I'll put it up, what it is, what the make it is, and where we got it from. And even Jan was impressed with it the other day. She was cooking at home, and basically it went off there to let her know that there was smoke she knew there was smoke because she was cooking but they always say there's no smoke without fire but there wasn't any fire which was good and we don't want any fire so that, like i said jam was impressed with it it did set notifiers straight to the phone the alarm sounded on the uh smoke alarm and it also sent us an email as well so that i would say is essential one of the most essential things you should get as well as a couple of those knocking about as well so if you are looking at buying one of these and you're looking at a park home make sure you do your research first make sure you check everything out before you you buy one and put it on a site and make sure that you're 101 percent sure that you want to buy one of these so check the links below in the description and i'll put everything in even the playlist for the lodges and things like that and make sure you're safe make sure you're buying one for the right reasons and uh, I'll catch you all soon on the next one. Bye for now.